We have a new segment here at News 19. Once a month, we'll tell the stories of veterans who are positively impacting their community. News 19's Emily Forster has our very first installment of Veterans Voices. What has happened to Iraq veteran Tony Hernandez since he left the Army will unfortunately hit home for many. It's a story of despair and now a story of hope. I decided to go Army uh, right after my first year of college. Tony Hernandez went to Iraq in 2008. He was there for a year. Many, many sleepless nights. You pray um, and you just say, God, you're going to bring him home safe. And he did come home, but his mom, Rosanna Cox, says he was not the man who left. He was always outgoing. He was just lucky go happy. And he was very quiet and wanted to just be on his own. And I felt like, wow, what's, what's happened to my son? There is no welcome back home. Let's teach you how to be a normal person again. They pretty much more or less just throw you back into society. That transition was hard to say the least. My mental health struggle a lot, I believe, uh, was a root cause is what they call survivor's guilt, which a lot of people struggle with. I couldn't go to work comfortably because I didn't know if I was going to come home, if he was going to be alive. He faced problems he had never dealt with before. I was homeless in San Antonio, Texas. I was homeless in Florida. I was drifting from one VA to another, just lost. I was completely lost as a human being. When I found out about the homelessness, Part of me died, whether it was my son or anybody. No one should have to go through that after you went to serve for your country. And he's not alone in that struggle, what he calls suffering in silence. I have lost more friends due to suicide um, than to combat losses. And that is a mind-wrenching feeling to feel that loss. Someone you know made it with you, but once he got back, just couldn't take the pressures. Some of his struggles involved accessing his benefits from the VA, saying it was hard to get answers. I've been diagnosed with traumatic brain injury, uh, upper back injury, PTSD, sleep apnea, and tinnitus. And the VA has only rated me 80% disabled. Hernandez reached a turning point, taking steps toward healing and recovering. I had to be willing to grow, say, okay, the person I left as at 19 is not the same person I am now. And that's okay because I can be better than that person. He says it's been a seven-year journey. Luckily, the VA did cover for my schooling, so they're paying me to go to school. Um, it's been a long process, but things are getting better. His mom now serves veterans like her son. She's on a VA advisory board and serves as a community liaison with the Semper Fi Community Task Force. I'll forever be a voice for my veterans, whether my son had gone through what he went through or not. No veteran, no family, no mother should ever go through the storm, the darkness that I had to go through. Hernandez works a full-time job now, and he's engaged to be married. He and his mom say they tell his story in hopes of reaching even just one other veteran who may be struggling. I'm glad I'm getting to plan a wedding instead of have had to plan a funeral. And I came so close. For anybody out there, any mother that's going through any of this, there is the light at the end of the tunnel. Do not give up. Speak out. It's, at first it will feel like the world is collapsing around you. Like there's nothing that's gonna make this better. Um, but that's part of the process. It is going to be tough and you will struggle. But that's the beauty of it, is afterwards you get to see all the hard work. Signs of an emerging crisis may include appearing sad or depressed most of the time, feelings of hopelessness and mood swings. If you're a veteran in crisis or you're concerned about one, contact the Veterans Crisis Line for 24-7 free confidential support. Just dial 988, then press 1. And you don't have to be enrolled in VA benefits or health care to connect.